using crisscrossing method. Again, I'll count the number of bolts I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I'll look at the inner bolts. That one, or oh, I'll cross crease it with this one. This one, I'll go diagonal and cross crease it with this one. This one, I'll tighten the center. The two are that. This one and this one. So, I'll start with the center one. I mark, serving, tighten, then I go to this one, then I'll go to its opposite diagonal, that's it, so I'll come to this one, and this one, okay, then I'll follow the sequence like that, when I, ten, I tighten this one, I'll tighten that one, this, go to the external one okay this one should be tightened with this one and so on so these are the two methods that can be used when you don't have a manual to tighten the cinder edge you can use the method of crisscrossing so if you tighten this one What's it, where is the opposite? The opposite man number the inner is this one. You tighten this one. And then if you tighten this one, you come here. Tighten this one, come here. Tighten that one, come there. Just like that until you reach the uh, last uh, uh, bolts. Those two methods are important to, to know by a student in case you don't have a service man you can use these two methods either the spiral method or the crisscross method that's how we can tighten the cinder ID bots thank you so much for listening